What's up, soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPub.com. Always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me Sunday morning. I'm on making a one skillet potato and sausage sort of breakfast here. Stay tuned, you're gonna love this one, man. Got my non-stick frying pan here, and you can use a skillet, you can use whatever sort of shallow wide pan that you've got. I'm using the non-stick here, and I know a lot of people complain about that non-stick is not good for you and all that stuff like that, but I'm using it because it means I can cut back on the amount of fat I'm using. Butter, olive oil, and something a little bit strange, remember, it's not hot. It's the, it was cold, right? If you add that water with hot oil, you're gonna run into problems. So if you want, add the water first, then the oil and the butter. I'm just gonna move that around a little bit. Make a little mess on the stove. Then I'm gonna go in with my sausages, and these are bratwursts. I hope I pronounced it correctly. I do not like Italian sausages because I am not a fan of fennel. Anything with fennel, I'm an avoiding. Serious, serious. And that water is gonna help cook that sausage and the potatoes that we'll be adding right now. We just drain the water out, it's been sitting in water, so they don't discolor. Everything in one pot here, in between, tuck those in. And that's gonna help cook everything before they actually start burning, you know? We ain't trying to burn nothing. Now it's been about seven minutes and I flipped it once already and you can see and yeah there was a lid on there uh, low heat lid on I forgot to mention that potatoes are starting to fall apart you can see they just get nice and creamy and stuff like that and the potato I'm using today and I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier they are um, russet potatoes that's the only thing I had on hand there you can go your favorite potato will work so don't stress about that Here's where we're going to go in now with some fresh ground black pepper. Now be mindful when adding salt, which I'm going to do next, that the sausage you're using will have a salt element to it already, so be mindful of that. Sea salt. Now I'm going to leave the lid open because I want this to start browning and caramelizing. The sausages are fully cooked. I'm just going to give them another two minutes in there. And then we're going to continue building on here. I told you guys. It's a one skillet breakfast. You're gonna love this one, man. The sausages are about 90% cooked. So what I'm gonna do is take them out for now. And we're gonna set them aside. And what I wanna do at this point now, notice how much fat is on the bottom of the pot here. That's a bit too much fat, so I'm gonna take out some of that. Now it's time to build on those flavors. I've got a sliced onion a bit of shredded scotch bonnet pepper. I like heat. You don't like heat, you don't need to do that. I've got some scallions. That is two scallions going in there. And this is where all that flavor is gonna happen. My heat is on medium now. And I have two pimento peppers. That's a bit of fresh thyme. That's going in soon. Two pimento peppers. From my garden in the freezer, yet yeah, springtime. So we only now starting to plant here in Canada. I'm just gonna give that a rough chop. And if you can't get pimento peppers, you know, use what you got, bell peppers is all you got, rub that bell pepper. I'm not the biggest fan of bell peppers, sweet bell peppers. But pimento peppers, if you don't know about it, it's what we call seasoning peppers in the Caribbean, especially the Southern Caribbean. And uh, no heat, but a ton of flavor. From fresh thyme. Move that around a little bit. Give it a little stir. And I want some garlic in there because that garlic is just going to bring all kind of happiness into this dish. But look at the colors already and we're not done yet. We are not done yet, my friends. As far as the garlic goes, all I did was I smashed it with my knife and I gave it a rough chop. Because I want when I'm eating and when my, my friends are eating, when my family are eating, they get that little bit of garlic. If they don't like garlic, I report them to the Vampire Association right away. We're just going to give that a stir now. Try not to break up the potato too much. You notice the color that started to happen there. Now I have two massive bright lights when I film. Um, so I don't know how, you know, how bright the potatoes are looking here. 
and which may take away from some of the golden niceness that's happening. But we want to give this about another three or four minutes just for some caramelization to happen. That garlic to get in there. And I'm gonna put one more thing in there, hold tight. And that is some grape tomato that I have in the fridge. They're going in whole, I wash them. The reason why they're going in whole because I don't want them to fall apart. I want them to blister. So when you're eating this skillet potato with sausage, I'm gonna move it around, it's gonna blister. It's gonna pow, pop, pop in your mouth with all that juicy sweetness, yeah? So give that a stir, make sure them tomatoes get tuckered into the oil there because that bit of fat is gonna blister it and make it all nice and sweet. There's only happy times inside here. Now this year there's absolutely nothing Caribbean about this. So this recipe will not be featured on CaribbeanPot.com but I'm showing you guys, you know it's summertime, you want to make a nice little something outside. This is the one pot sort of skillet that you're gonna make and everybody's gonna be happy. I have another version of this which I'm gonna do on the grill outside totally different well kind of similar but with some some differences stay tuned for that one during july's month of grilling you're gonna love that one man potatoes are starting to fall apart so let's put an end to things now what i like going in here with is a bit of smoked paprika or paprika whatever that word is there you know you're always struggling with that boy Way soft. so we have that smokiness going in there that will add a sort of a, a peppery note as well too and we cut up those sausages and those sausages are going right back into the dance here followed by some parsley and all we're going to do is give that a good mix just to bring everything together warm back up that sausage let some of that sausage fat bleed out into the dish and you're done now at this point here after you give everything a nice little fold over like that notice the color is starting to come out now in that potato just look at that nice golden way hey, that is pure flavor there Taste it for salt, adjust that salt at this point. I'm now gonna go in with a bit more fresh ground black pepper. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com, always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. Look for a more uh, detailed recipe when it comes to this in July's month of grilling. A one skillet breakfast sausage with potatoes. Yeah, we used my favorite sausage. You can use your favorite sausage. If turkey sausage is a thing, you know, you rock that. Always a pleasure, yeah? What's up, soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe. If you've already clicked subscribe, hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click.